welcome to the RAC, Rural Art Connection, the place where your boredom ends and creativity begins. Today, we are going to be working on First off, to make alebrijes, you have to understand what they are. Alebrijes are brightly colored, handmade Mexican folk art sculptures of fantastic creatures that are native to Oaxaca. To begin the project, you will need to construct a skeleton or an armature to hold your alebrije sculpture. For class, I had my students create their alebrije using salto. They can also be created from paper mache. They can be constructed from recycling plastic toys. There are many different ways to create alabrije, but for our intents and purposes, we created our alabrije using salt dough and aluminum foil for their armatures. So step one would be to draw out your alabrije, your picture, your image, what you feel like it's going to look like. After you've created that image, you will start to construct your armature in the shape of that image using aluminum foil. Once you have a nice solid skeleton set up, then you will mix up a batch of salt dough. Using this salt dough, you will create a thin, thin layer like skin over the top of the aluminum foil, pressing it down, smoothing it out. If you moisten one of your fingers and rub the seams where your pieces of salt dough overlap each other, they will fuse better for a more streamlined structure in the end. After you've covered the entire skeleton in salt dough, if you are able to, you can then bake your alebrije
bake your alebrije in the oven on a non-stick sheet at about 200 degrees for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. You have to keep checking on it, making sure that it's not burning because some parts of your alebrijes might be thinner than others and so those would be the parts where it might try to burn but it helps to dry out the salt dough more thoroughly. If you were unable to bake your alebrijes, that's fine. You can leave it out and allow it to air dry over the course of a few days. Sometimes one day is enough for it to be dried all the way through, but many of my students, it took several days for their alebrijes to be dry all the way through. After your sculpture is completely dry through and through, then you will be able to start painting it. One thing that we quickly learned was the salt dough is very porous and will absorb a lot of the first layer of paint that goes down. So my best advice would be to paint a kind of like a primer first coat over the entire surface of your alebrijes. Um, you could use white, you could use gray, yellow, like a light tan, some color that's not extremely powerful like black that's going to uh, overpower everything if it's peeking out in between your other colors. We used acrylic paint. Uh, I wanna say that you could use tempera paint as well but I prefer acrylic paint for this project rather than oil or tempera. The acrylic paint will dry and kind of create a plastic or a latex layer over your entire alebrijes, which helps to hold it together and to prevent cracking. So once you've created your first layer all the way over your alabrije, then you're going to want to go in and paint brightly colored sections of your alebrijes. You want to go from big to small. So large colored areas, you're going to paint those first. Then once those areas are dry, then you can go back in with a finer paintbrush, like a much smaller detail brush, or paint pens, and go back in and paint your patterns that you need on your alebrijes. They all have patterning over the top of them. Now how ornate or detailed the patterning is, uh, it depends on the artist that's creating them, but all of the alebrijes have a different variety of patterns all over them. So for this project, for my students, they needed to make sure they had at least three different bright colors and four patterns before turning in their project. Once you've completely painted your alebrijes, it has all the patterns on it. You can then either, you know, store it like that, submit it for grading like that, or you can buy a Mod Podge or some sort of varnish to go over the top of your piece to protect it for the long run if that's what you are interested in.
So if you liked that video, please like, share, and subscribe. 
it would mean the world to me. Please stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.